and welcome to an all new Melanie's Muses where it's all TV talk all the time. New episodes coming to you every Monday so if you haven't clicked that subscription button yet, what are you waiting for? Click now and never miss a video. Melanie's Muses is proud to be a Telpy partner channel so whatever you are watching, including this video, make sure you check in on the app, share to social media and who knows when you will unlock an exclusive sticker. Fans of the show will know that a couple of weeks ago we had a very successful Facebook Live and so guess what? Starting this week, we will be doing Facebook Live videos on the Sunday following the release of the video. So next Sunday, May 7th, make sure you go to my Facebook page, Melanie's Muses, the link is across the bottom right now, and join me and my husband to talk about this week's show. You can ask questions, make comments, let me know your thoughts, even ask why I'm wearing this crazy outfit. Anything goes. So with that being said, let's get on with today's topic which is Easter eggs. Easter eggs are those fun little things that TV shows, movies, DVDs, all sorts of things like to hide within the show for fans like me to try and find. Now some of the Easter eggs are put there deliberately and some of them fans sort of make up for themselves. But either way, they're all pretty cool. I am a huge fan of Easter eggs in a show and I will watch things over and over and over to try and find those tiny little clues that might give something away for future episodes, for backstories, all sorts of things. True Blood was one of the shows that in the early seasons at least there were lots of little easter eggs to find and they were fantastic. I would watch those episodes over and over trying to spot the little clues that the writers had left for us. Doctor Who fans, of which I am one, are one of the biggest ones for looking for easter eggs in shows. You see a piece of scenery that was used in an earlier episode and all sorts of connections are made. Now sometimes the writers do it on purpose, sometimes I swear they've literally gone out to the shed and found a piece of set that would work and they put it in there, but it doesn't stop the fans from going crazy. Other easter eggs are really really fun, for example the following, I was a huge following fan, I love Joe Carroll and the little things that were hidden to tie in with the show for that were fantastic. During season one you could actually play along, go onto the websites. If you could follow the clues, you could access hidden videos, find things before the show. And if you completed all the tasks, you got admitted into this very select little group that actually received an email at the end of season one letting us know that Joe Carroll was still alive. Now that was a huge spoiler and you think someone would have leaked it, but now I'm not sure how many of us were in the group. I do know to this day only about 3,000 people have looked at one of the videos because I still have the link and I still look at it occasionally. Nobody spilled the beans. That is incredible. That is what a crazy fan base can do. Other shows do things like put actual phone numbers in there. I had Joe Carroll's phone number. If you called it, you got a voicemail. I think Doctor Who fans all around the world at one point called the Doctor when that number was up, that went to a voicemail. Let's see, I still have John Constantine's phone number that still goes to a voicemail. On the show, Constantine, even though it was cancelled, you can still get a Matt Ryan voicemail. I still have that contact stored on my phone. Of course, Easter eggs are not limited to TV shows, movies, Marvel especially is well known for throwing all sorts of references to their other movies and franchises and little hidden things in there. It's recently come out that Disney and Pixar had all sorts of little hidden things in their movies for avid fans to try and catch. To me, this is just an excuse to watch things over and over. Obviously, apps like to put little hidden things in there. Tips and tricks where you can unlock certain things, but only if you know to follow the clues. I mean, honestly, it makes you feel like a detective. Does this give you a little clue as to why I'm dressed like this? No? I'm not going to tell you. If, if you want to know, you really will have to come and ask me on Facebook Live. Oh, ask me in the YouTube comments. I'm usually pretty good about answering those. Or if you follow me on Instagram, I did actually put a big clue up on there. So, the answer is out there. Hey, it's like a Melanie's Muses Easter egg. Why on earth is Melanie dressed like that? So what do you think, Melanie's Muses fans? Are you a big person when it comes to Easter eggs? There was a show on the CW called Cult that was basically about fans following Easter eggs and there was a whole big crossover between the show and what the fans were doing and what was real and what was not real and people were dying. Surprisingly, it wasn't a hit. I loved it, but then I'm one of those crazy fan people. Are you a crazy fan person? Do you love to hunt for Easter eggs? Do you like to know what they are or do you like to be the person that tries to find them? Now, of course, with all the interwebs, you can pretty much just wait for a day or two and some crazy fan will have gone on there and posted everything and you can just scroll through and try and find them. But seriously, surely some of the fun is in the actual hunt. 
I know it is for me. Okay, those are my few thoughts on Easter eggs. Hopefully you enjoyed this week's video. Hopefully you join me on Facebook Live next Sunday with my husband Greg. So you know that's going to be crazy fun. As always, huge thank you for watching. Please make sure you do all the fun YouTube things like comment and subscribe. And of course, check in on Telfy and get this week's sticker. Check into all your shows on Telfy. Get all the stickers. Hopefully I will see you back here for an all new Melanie's Muses video next week and see you on Sunday for Facebook Live.